I've got breaking news for you. My favorite digital course teacher, Amy Porterfield, has opened the doors to her course, Confident Boot Camp, and you are invited. I attend this boot camp every time she opens the doors because I always learn something that helps me be a better course creator. And being in a collaborative community of support with a bunch of other people doing the same thing, that brings me new ideas and a whole lot of energy. This boot camp is high touch and focused with all of the guidance you need to nail down your first or next digital course idea, a free lead magnet to attract your ideal clients, the price, and the growth plan for the course, all in a matter of days. This is the fast track to course creation. I want you to use my affiliate link to join us for only $47 because you'll get a super sweet thank you bonus from me. One of my most popular trainings called How to Manage Your Time Like a CEO. Go to tracybeavers.com forward slash Amy Bootcamp to get on the fast track to your first or next digital course offer. And now on to the show. We all want to make more sales in our businesses so that we can help more people achieve their goals. The key to my success in sales has always been to make connections and build relationships first because the sale always ends up taking care of itself. So how do we find other people in the online space to connect with so we can build those relationships that lead to business growth? In today's episode, I am going to share one of my visibility and list growth strategies, one that leads to more connections and more sales without me ever having to sell anything. It's Facebook groups. Does that surprise you? Being active in other people's Facebook groups so you can gain so much visibility and using this strategy the right way can lead to email list growth, which ultimately leads to more sales. And yes, I mean even those Facebook groups that do not allow promotion of any kind. Ready to grow your online business without losing your mind? You're in the right spot, my friend. Welcome to Create Your Online Business Success. I'm your host, Tracy Beavers. And this show is all about practical strategies, creative ideas, and sanity-saving solutions that you can use right now. Let's crank up the dial on your business growth and make it fun. Let's create your online business success. Hey there, my friend. We all want more visibility and list growth for our online businesses so that when we go to promote our offers, we've got an audience of people that know us and they're ready to buy from us. Today, I'm going to share with you my tips for how we can use other people's Facebook groups to gain visibility for us, grow our email lists, and yes, even those groups that you and I both know do not allow any promotion. Being active in other people's Facebook groups can gain you so much visibility, and using this strategy the right way can lead directly to list growth. So why should you consider joining Facebook groups? Let's walk through it. First of all, networking. Networking is foundational for the growth of every business, whether you are an online business, brick and mortar, product-based, service-based, it does not matter. Networking is what made me successful years and years and years in my sales career, over 20 years of experience, an award-winning sales career in corporate marketing, sales, and business development. Networking was the foundation. Being active in Facebook groups, when you're in the online space and you're an online business, being active in Facebook groups that are full of your ideal clients or full of other people that share your same audience that might want to collaborate with you or refer you or be an affiliate for you, this is a great way to network and make those great connections. You can easily deepen the connections you've made through authentic conversations in the DMs. So you connect with somebody in this group and you're having a great back and forth in the group, take it to the DMs and get to know that person a little bit better. These conversations, the possibilities are endless. You could have a collaboration partner. You could potentially have your next best client. You could have a new referral partner, an affiliate marketing opportunity. That's why networking is so exciting. And in these groups that do allow promotion, you can pr promote your offers. Like if you're in a pre-launch runway for, your, for the next opening of your program. But if you're not in a runway promotion time, you can still promote something else that you've got going on. Maybe it's a free lead magnet, your own free Facebook group, your podcast, and all of those things could lead to list growth. But how do you grow your list if you can't promote in the Facebook group? This is the question I get all the time, and it can be really frustrating. Here's the key. In groups that don't allow promotion, you can still showcase your knowledge and expertise through creating valuable posts. I call this promoting without promoting. 
There's no obvious promotion with it. You are simply sharing your expertise and asking other people to share theirs. And trust me when I say, this will get people curious about you and wanting to connect with you further. Being in the group, being supportive of other group members, being yourself, your warm, kind-hearted self, commenting on their posts, helping where you can with your expertise. This is all excellent for the visibility of your name and your brand. And you're going to begin to be known as someone that is genuinely helpful, kind, knowledgeable, which is what we all want, right? That leads to more visibility. That leads to more connections. That leads to more opportunities to network and more potential email list growth when you do these the right way. This strategy, it's organic. And organic strategies can feel slow as molasses. And they take time. They take patience and consistency. And I know you just rolled your eyes when I said that. I get it. But you know that those are the wonder twins of business success, patience and consistency. And you're going to want to give this strategy of being visible in Facebook groups. You know, six months ago, I would have said a good 60 to 90 days. Now I'm thinking you need to give this thing 90 to maybe even 120 days before you decide if it's going to work or not, before you decide if you're going to get visibility or not, and before you decide to leave the group to find another one that might be better. Now, some of these groups you're going to jump in and you're going to know immediately it's a spam fest. Nobody's taken any care of anybody else. Nobody's noticing anything else anybody is doing. Drop that like a hot potato and go find a community where people are actually having conversation and then stick around for a while. If you're just starting out using Facebook groups as a visibility and list growth strategy, here's what I want you to do. I want you to search for about three to five groups where you're going to find your ideal clients or you're going to find collaboration partners that share your same audience. Now, listen, don't do what I did. Don't try to go to too many groups at one time. I made the mistake of being, you know, an overachiever, my little overachieving self. And I tried to do eight to 10 groups um, when I first started with this strategy. Uh, yeah, it didn't go well. I was completely overwhelmed. Do, be, be better than me. Be better than me. Trust me. Dial yourself back and start out with three to five groups. And once you have found three to five groups that look like it has your ideal clients, look like it's an, an actual community of support and collaboration or potential collaboration uh, sources like we talked about, I want you to join the group and I want you to answer the membership questions. And then once you're approved, set your notifications for each of the groups to all. That way you don't miss a notification if somebody makes a comment or a post. Then here's the, here's the, the cool way to organize this stuff so that you don't get overwhelmed and drive yourself crazy. I want you to make a list of these groups in a Google Sheet, an organizational software program. My team and I, we use the free version of Trello and it works really well. I can list each of the groups. I can note the rules of the group right there on the Trello board, whether they allow promotion or not, because some of these groups allow promotion, but it's like on certain days of the week in a certain thread with a certain hashtag. You don't want to have to look that up every single time. That is exhausting. You want to have that front and center on your Google Sheet or your Trello board with a link to that group so that you know exactly what you're doing and when you're going into the group on that particular day, what you can do and what's expected. That way you don't break any of the rules. I want you to dive in and get, get a feel for the group. See where you can be of service to the other members. It's kind of like picture yourself going to an in-person networking event where you're going into a chamber lunch. You're not going to go into the room and start spraying your business cards all over the place, right? You're going to go in and you're going to meet some people and you're going to kind of get the feel for the group and the lay of the land and where's the buffet and all that other stuff. This is the same in a Facebook group. And it feels different because the location has changed because it's online, but it is no different than being in an in-person networking opportunity. So dive in, get a feel for the group, see where you can be of service to the other members, see what people are posting and not posting. And then I want you to be intentional with your membership in the group. Be consistent, be patient, be intentional. Make being present in this group a priority. I want you to put it on your list as a daily task. When you make this a priority, you are going to see your visibility and your email list growth skyrocket. Okay, you're probably asking by now, all right, Tracy, this sounds great. But how in the world is this going to grow my email list, especially in groups where I can't promote? I'm going to share that with you. Remember, when we're networking online, connecting with other people and being visible to them, 
especially in these Facebook groups. People are naturally going to be curious about you because they're going to be seeing your name a lot. They're going to click on your Facebook personal profile to go check you out. And hopefully by now you have heard my training about how to max out your Facebook personal profile. If you missed that, I want you to go grab it by going to tracybeavers.com forward slash personal. If you missed that, that's okay. We're going to have it in the show notes. In this training, it's all about making sure your personal profile is complete and it is poised for list growth, that your personal profile is actually an email list growth funnel for you. And you know, based on what I shared in that training, that the cover photo of your personal profile is where the email list growth starts. So you're active in these Facebook groups. People are seeing your name as a kind, warm, helpful person who's sharing great knowledge. They get curious about you. They click on your personal profile. They go look at it. And that cover photo you've got leads them right to your email list. I have hundreds of people joining my free Facebook every single month. And it is because, and my, sorry, let me back up. My Facebook group is the biggest source of my email list growth and my sales conversions. Here's the thing. My Facebook group is featured on my Facebook cover photo. As of the time of this recording, that is what's there. Now, I will share with you when I'm in launch of my Business Visibility Made Easy eight-week group coaching program, what you'll see on my cover photo is come join my free live masterclass. So if you're watching this recording during a time of launch, you may see that cover photo instead, but it still leads to list growth, right? So cool. So normally we feature my Facebook group on the cover photo. So when I'm active in Facebook groups with my ideal clients or potential collaboration partners, and I'm serving and I'm supporting and I'm just being myself, my warm, kind, helpful self, posting tips that are helpful for the other people without promoting a darn thing. I'm not selling anything. I'm not promoting anything. People in the group get curious about me. And I'm telling you, this happens. And it happens to me a lot. They click on my personal profile. They see my cover photo with the invitation to my free group. They request to join my group. And because of the way I have my membership entry questions set up for my Facebook group, they want to be on my email list. And so they land on my list. Do you see just how being visible in these groups can gain you a massive audience and lots of list growth? If your Facebook personal profile is not dialed in with my training, with your messaging about who you are, what you do, who you serve, and how your new friends can get on your email list, then do not do this Facebook group strategy until you have completed your profile, maxing out every nook and cranny like I teach. You're going to be wasting your time and potentially throwing away awesome connection opportunities. We do not want people seeing our expertise in a Facebook group and thinking, wow, this person has awesome information. I might want to hire this person for my team. I might want to collaborate with this person. I might want to refer this person. Then they go to our personal profile and there's no information there. There's no work information. There's the work section says no workplaces to show, which gets on my last nerve. There's no information about who they serve, how they serve them. No way for them to take the next action step to, to connect. And that is where the connection ends. It's a disconnect for the brain. They're going to leave. And they likely are not going to return because they don't think you are the expert that they thought you were. So don't let this happen to you. Be sure that your Facebook personal profile is completely dialed in, like I teach, before you start networking through Facebook groups. Here's the biggest thing I want you to hear this week. Remember, don't go it alone. Being an entrepreneur is freaking hard. You hear me say that all the time, but it's true. It is a roller coaster, is it not? I know you're, I can see you nodding your head. You're agreeing with me. Some days, everybody wants to buy what you're selling. Other days, nobody remembers your name and you're thinking, what the heck just happened? I thought I was super popular, right? You thought you were sitting at the cool kids table and everything was all dialed in. If you think you're alone feeling that way, you're not. It doesn't matter if you're on day one, hour one of your business, or you are 15 years in and you're making a gajillion dollars a year. We all feel that way. And we all have days like that. And that is when You need to get into a community of support, a community that's got your back. And that's why I want you to join my free Facebook group called Be a Confident Entrepreneur. Get visible, grow your email list and your income. Come in. Let us cheer you on. Let us support you. Let us collaborate with you. And remember, when one of us rises, we all rise. So we have got to keep cheering each other on. 
Hey, thanks for tuning in to Create Your Online Business Success. I hope you found today's episode packed with actionable tips and inspiration. And listen, if you want to dive even deeper with me and connect with a community of like-minded entrepreneurs that totally get you and understand what you're building, then join us in my free Facebook group. You get to promote your offers anytime, network with other entrepreneurs just like you, and possibly find some lucrative collaborations. Just search for Be a Confident Entrepreneur, get visible, grow your email list and your income over in Facebook. Or if it's easier, just click the link in the show notes. We cannot wait to welcome you in. Let's stay connected so we can create your online business success together.